Hello! Today I want to show you a special light. So, let's get started. Because today we're going to talk about this pool. So, this is the package. It seems actually legitimate. So, let's see. It's a 3 watt candlelight from Pullman, but in red. Now, this is a CFL, so that means that it's a compact fluorescent lamp. But weirdly enough, we don't have any printing that says any mercury, which you would pretty much expect. But anyway, we can see that it's not dimmable. And here are the standard signs that simply refer to the fact that it has been already checked. There are no energy efficiency class. It's uh, advertised to last around 8,000 hours, as you can see here on the box. These are the dimensions, and it's here it's shown that when the bulb is on, it's red, and when the bulb is off, it's white. This is actually a very interesting thing, so I'm going to unpack it. So, let's see. And this is the bulb. So, from its look, uh, it really does look like a traditional 3 watt CFL, if traditional it is. And it is actually plastic, but pretty hard. It's standard plastic cover. We can see all of the signs down here. Again, the standard signs, the safety signs. We can see here the the factory name and if you actually shine a light you can even see the quad tube or the twin tube actually twin tube fluorescent tubes by the way what I also want to add to this bulb specifically is that it's actually pretty interesting and it is therefore pretty rare actually. I've tried to find on the internet more examples, but apparently, especially not in this candle shape, you would usually maybe have like spirals, colored spirals, but no, this is not even colored um, fluorescent tubes in. This is actually pretty interesting. I also could not find any other examples, so I got this from eBay. And apparently, I would say that this is this series of these light bulbs are not produced anymore by Pullman. Especially, don't they sell LEDs? But I also have a few Pullman, and they're actually good in quality. So let's see. Important to say is that this bulb uses a deep E14 base, and the problem with this is that more newer bulbs. Or new bulbs have this flat, this flat um, connector here, while this one has a little bit deeper. And besides having this plastic, it doesn't reach in my E14 candelier type, but it will fit in older ceramic type lamp. I'm going to screw it in and darken the room. Okay. Now we're going to switch on. I don't have the original glass. I will put it however. So let's get started. In three, two, one, and ignition. Okay. Uh, I have to say that the camera actually picks up in deep red, but in real life it actually more looks like a rosa. This is actually interesting. It's a nice color actually, kind of kind of wanted, I'm going to dim a bit the camera, but you can see it's just a piece, but you can see there are the tubes, in real life they're a little bit dimmer, but you can actually see the tubes, so that's interesting. You see actually almost no flickering, you have a minimum flickering, but considering that this is 3 watts, you might even not expect a that much light so probably also not that much flickering 
So the amount of light is actually really just a decoration lamp, still very interesting, especially suitable for decorative chandeliers, especially. Maybe this type, this was actually this uh, bowl, uh, this lamp holder was actually more done for a 40 watt Narva incandescent light bulb for uh, lighting, but it had that weird deep. E14 base, so I chosen. I will in a bit put the glass. Now you can see that I put the cover, the glass cover, which is actually glass, and it diffuses it pretty well. But considering that the bulb had that plastic base over there, the light cannot spread here. Uh, and then, as I mentioned, the Nova 40 watt would be a clear bulb. E14 clear bulb and it would also spread the light over here but it spreads only in this area but other than that this is very comfortable to look at the bulb it doesn't appear too deep it's actually really in the middle so let's check the wattage okay now I connected my power meter and apparently it's showing 4 watts now this might be due to the fact that this system that I have, the power meter, is around accuracy of 0.5 watts. So if this is around 3.6 watts perhaps even, it will trip to 4 watts. But anyway, LEDs are actually pretty accurate, this is not that accurate. Because to be honest, if you actually have a 4 watt LED, and if you watch my first video where I presented it, it's pretty pretty bright. Now this is anyway intentional for decoration purposes, but still this looks like a 4 watt. That's actually pretty dim. I might even maybe even suggest it's energy class B due to the fact it's not that bright. But still, it's awesome and it's rare, so I'm pretty happy. Again, if you want or you would have one of these, it's more for lamps, especially not chandeliers only, but pretty much every table lamp you'd have. It doesn't change. Now, I will take the glass cover off and let's see how warm it is. This is also important. Oh well, this is not that warm, but I let it once run actually a little bit more while so I could test and as you can see or well, feel it is not warm but it will warm and it will be almost well, almost untouchable we can touch it but it's like a hot potato so let's shut it off okay we get no after glowing you would actually expect this maybe so now I also took one apart and this is how it looks like in the inside so let me show you this here is the plastic cover and this is pretty much the bowl as you can see interestingly enough we don't have actually here no connections but in between here is a glass bridge and this is it where it bridges pretty much. These are the wires for the preheat, I also forget to tell you. This is, has a nice preheat, which is awesome because it's not treated like a cold cathode, considering it's a CFL lamp. Some might even, but that would be a pretty, pretty bad circuit. However, this treated like a normal preheat system. Okay, nice twin tube. I will put this back. By the way, you can open them. Just be careful to not break it. Um, it just has a certain hole where it slides in, then it goes back, so so it can repair. The bath part where it looks pretty complicated, but I cannot show it on the camera. So. This is, however, not the only bulb 
obviously we have all three colors so make sure to subscribe if you want to be notified when these videos will come out and especially when I will make videos about other books do you have any questions then just leave a comment and like the video if you've learned anything new about these books of or just seen a pretty interesting book this was it so see you next time